Good morning, everybody. This is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks Ministry. It is December the 20th, 2019, about 5.30 a.m. in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, where I where I am. And I just want to give a quick word um, of encouragement. I'm going to be doing more uh, video blogs to encourage people, you know, every day. Um... I just um, want to talk about the importance of feeding your faith and starving your do your doubts, and um, how important it is to you know feed on the Word of God um, every day by listening to it with your ears, by reading it um, with your eyes, and then speaking it speaking the Word of God out of your mouth for manifestation. But today I want to talk about listening uh, to the Word of God because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. It's important to position your ears to hear God's Word on a consistent basis. Now, you know, I've been working, walking with God for over 30 years, so I listen to men and women of God who are past the kindergarten level of faith. They're, you know, they're somewhere in in the college realm of faith and they and they can teach you how to walk by faith for real for real they're not playing around you know so um people that i listen to who have a high level of faith one particular ministry is charles capps ministry c-a-p-p-s that's uh, caps that's how you spell his last name he since has gone on to be uh, with the Lord, but um, when that man of God was alive, I just fed so much on his ministry, and I was able to take uh, the instructions that were taught to the body of Christ and to the world and apply them. So that's one thing Christians are going to have to understand. The Word of God is filled with instructions. It's a book of instructions. Okay, and if you just pick up the word of God, do exactly what the word of God tells you to do, you will have results. Okay, so you have to get in the habit of listening and doing, listening and doing, listening and doing the word of God. And you have to do it every day. You have to get in the habit of being disciplined and doing of the word of God uh, every day. You have to live the word of God. You have to speak the word of God. You have to read the word of God. You have to listen to the word of God. And um, you just have to be one with um, God in every area um, of, of your life. So um, I've learned so much about how to walk with God in victory from uh, Charles Capps. And you know, everybody has an expiration date. Everybody has a date where they will leave uh, the earth. Okay? Everybody does. So, you know, uh, while Charles Capps was here on the earth, he obeyed God in ministry. And I learned so much from that man of God. He was one of those men of God who wasn't shaking and, 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 and jiving and, and, and playing games. This man was serious about his walk with God. He walked in integrity. Never heard a scandal come out of his ministry. You know, his heart was fixed on God and representing God in, in honor and truth and being respectful to God. And being very respectful um, to to the body of Christ. I mean, you didn't hear a tarnish come out of his ministry. And um, I gravitate towards men and women of God of integrity. Men and women of God who are so serious about their walk with God and helping humanity for real, for real. So I wanted to uh, share that uh, with you. And there were quite a few ministries that I sat under and grew up in the realm of the spirit, um, listening to uh, their teachings, you know, straight from the Bible. You know, they, these men and women, they weren't shucking and jiving. And so um, Charles Capps was uh, one of those ministries that I honor and that I respect and, um, you know, was just faithful for listening to the Word of God, learning how to grow up in the Word of God, learning how to operate 
uh, in the power of God. And he taught me for years, Charles Kapps taught me for years about the power of my tongue. That's why I flow in ministry the way that I do now. That's why miracles happens happens right in front of me and right in, in my hands because Charles Kapps helped me to develop my tongue, helped me to uh, partner with God in the Holy Ghost and how to speak words that created what I wanted, you know. So I'm very careful about my tongue. I don't say anything that I do not want to happen. I don't say anything negative. Do you hear me? That I don't want to happen in my life. Um, so, you know, once the body of Christ gets a hold of that teaching and combine prayer and fasting, living right, and learning how to speak the word of God and how to speak only what you want to happen, you will have so much victory in your life. You will. I don't care what Satan comes up with. He'll never win because you're speaking the word of God. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but God's word shall always remain. Satan is no match for the word of God, child of God. He's no match for the word of God. Prayer pushes back the hand of the enemy, pushes back Satan's devices. The word of God is what destroys Satan. The word of God is is what gives Satan a black eye. The word of God is a creative force and it creates what you need and what you desire. If you, the church could just get a hold of that right there, you wouldn't be walking around crying. You wouldn't be walking around sad. You would know that you got victory all day, every day, um, day and night. You will walk in confidence in your God. And you will walk in confidence in the power of the word of God. The word of God is just another form of God. Okay. Um, in the beginning was the word of God. The word of God was with God. The word of God was God. God is the word. You can't separate God from his word. Okay. I'm going to say that again. God is the word. You can't separate God from his word. So when you pick up your Bible and you read it, you're spending time with God. When you pick up your word of God and you listen to the word of God, you're spending time with God. When you open your mouth and speak the word of God, God is coming out of your mouth, creating whatever it is you speaking. Do you understand that? It ties in to the book of Genesis when God opened up his mouth and said, let there be light. God spoke those words, those creative words came out of God's mouth and created light. It's the same thing. It's the same concept. When you open up your mouth because you have Jesus and you are filled with the Holy Ghost, whatever it is you say is going to happen. Now, I just wanted again to come by and uh, just share words of encouragement. You know, feed your faith every day. Feed it and starve your doubts. And walk in a high level of faith, a high level of expectation, trusting in God and his word and your ability to follow instructions. God bless you. This is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks Ministry. God bless you again.